Fueled by data and powerful connections, John Deere Operations Center can transform your operation into a smarter operation. This tool connects you to your fields, job sites, and machine data anywhere, anytime. By enabling your experience with Operations Center, you're able to leverage precision technology in your operation with confidence. Our goal is to help you understand the value Operations Center can provide and help you understand how to get started. Either way, you'll experience the value of a connected fleet and data to optimize your operation. You can set up and personalize your farm or job site online, saving you and your operators time in the cab. You can also remotely monitor equipment and job performance in real time. Whether it is yields, input costs, and harvest progress on a farm or grade accuracy, material moved, or progress to grade on a job site, Operations Center can help you manage your machines and operations to enable better cost efficiency and profitability. In this video, we will cover how to create an account and organization, partnering with your primary partnering dealer, and take a quick tour of the website. First, you will need an Operations Center account, which allows you access to all your John Deere applications using a single username and password. Let's get started. Open a web browser and type operationscenter.deer.com. Select Create an Account. Selecting Create an Account will kick off the account creation process by asking you to describe your business or how you use your equipment and then asking you for standard account details such as your name and email address. Next, you will be asked to verify your email address by looking for and opening an email from John Deere. A verification code will have been sent to the email address that you entered in the previous step. This code will be valid for 30 minutes and could take a minute or two to arrive. Once the message arrives, you will need to enter the code and click the Verify Email button. After verification, you'll be asked to provide a few additional details, such as your address and phone number. After all additional account information has been entered, you will need to select Next Step Create Password. Here you will be asked to create a unique password that follows all provided guidelines. Upon completion, you can click Create Account. You will then be brought to the Tell Us About Your Organization page for the purpose of creating an organization. Think of an organization as a container used to manage your equipment, staff, and partners. Having an organization allows you easy access to your machines, people, data, and much more. During this step, you will be asked to provide an organization name and address, if applicable, and will be asked to accept the terms of use. Once accepted, you will be guided to the Tell Us About Your Equipment step. At this time, any of your existing equipment, Deer branded or non-Deer branded, connectivity capable or not, can be added. For the best results, you can either manually enter the serial number of your equipment or use the camera on your mobile device to scan the barcode off the serial number plate to populate the make, type, and model fields. If you don't have your equipment serial number handy, you can choose to either add your equipment later or add your equipment without the serial number. If you enter a serial number either manually or via the barcode scanner, you may see a message stating that the equipment that you entered is already present in another organization. If this message pops up and your equipment has a JD-Link modem, you will see a Request Transfer button at the bottom of the page which can be used to request that the equipment be transferred into your newly created organization. If the equipment that you entered is JD-Link connectivity capable and not already present in another organization, you will have the opportunity to activate JD-Link connectivity on the equipment that you are currently adding and to automatically activate JD-Link connectivity on all compatible equipment that gets added to your organization in the future. Once your equipment information is entered and any desired connectivity options are selected, click Add Equipment. If you opted to enable connectivity, 
you will be presented with the John Deere Telematic Service Contract. You can review the contract details and check the box to signify your agreement. At this time, you can either add additional equipment, or if you have already added all desired equipment, you can select Done. Selecting Done will bring you to the final step of the account creation process and connect you to your supporting John Deere dealer. Here, a primary supporting John Deere dealer will be pre-populated based on the information that you entered in the previous steps. You can establish partnerships with more than one John Deere dealer organization if you have equipment for more than one division of John Deere or both John Deere and Vertgen Group equipment. If the suggested dealer is not your preferred local John Deere dealer, the option to choose a different dealer is available. After dealer selection, you will have the option to enable data sharing with your chosen dealer. Enabling data sharing allows your supporting John Deere dealer to view and manage access to basic equipment details, such as location, alerts, diagnostic trouble codes, and equipment transfers, as well as view only access to basic organization details such as staff, operator, and partner lists. After selecting your primary supporting John Deere dealer and determining your data sharing arrangement, you will be able to select Complete Setup. At this time, you will be shown a summary of your fully completed account, which includes your user information, organization information, equipment information, and supporting dealer information. After reviewing your account details, you can select Done. Now let's take a quick tour so you can understand the layout of the website. Please note that Operations Center for a Construction Org will have differences in some of the tools available. Setup is your starting point for a successful operation. These tools ensure your farm or job site starts off efficient and organized. This is where you will go to manage your team, create fields and boundaries or geofences and curfews, and track the products you use. The plan tools allow you to proactively direct upcoming field work and maintenance. Here you can predefine work for your operators to reduce errors and in-field setup time. The map is your place to monitor your farm or job site. Here you will see tabs for your fields, equipment, job sites, and attachments when they apply. You can select a field in the fields list or on the map. Each field is color-coded to match the last operation that was done in the field. From here, you can find links to view the field in other tools and operation center. You can hide the fields or make them visible again using the Fields button. The Equipment list gives you the power to pinpoint your connected machine on the map. When you select a machine, a side panel opens where you can view machine data, maintenance plans, and alerts all in one place. Select the remote display access to monitor your settings on compatible machines or to provide support to an operator. Here you can also view whether your machine is working, idle, or in transport, as well as fuel and def levels. Use the star to pin frequently used machines at the top of the equipment list. Analyze is your place to view and compare agronomic maps and reports. You can also generate reports to evaluate machine performance. These tools empower you to use your work data to make productive decisions and reduce costs. To access your organization preferences, go to the Organization Selection drop-down menu. Select the Settings icon next to your organization name. Under the Organization Details tab, you can find your organization ID number, this number is helpful to reference if you need technical support from your John Deere dealer or the John Deere Global Support Center. The Assistance menu contains many resources to help as you use Operations Center. Here you'll find release notes to stay up to date with new features, links to more videos, contact our customer support team, and you can search for informational articles within help documentation. Thanks for watching.